Hi, this is CBSNews.com senior political reporter Brian Montopoli, and I'm here with our manager of surveys for CBS News, Jennifer DePinto, to talk about the new CBS News poll on Americans' alienation from their government. Uh, Jennifer, what struck you in the poll? Well, we asked Americans how much say they think they have and what the government does, and 69% said not much. That nearly matches a record that was reached in February 2010. And while Americans have felt this way for a long time, there's definitely been an uptick in recent years. For instance, back in 1990, 58% felt that Americans didn't have much to say, and today we're looking at 69% on that. So we're seeing a long-term frustration among Americans, but a frustration that's getting more pronounced. Yes, that's okay. correct. Um, now, what is the source of this frustration? I mean, what are people, why are people feeling like their government isn't, isn't representing them? Well, they think Congress represents people other than themselves, special interest groups, and they think that they're overpaid, members of, most members of Congress. 80% say most members of Congress represent special interest groups, and just 13% think they represent their constituents. 69% say they are paid too much for what they do. So we're looking at a situation where Americans think their elected representatives aren't representing their constituents. Correct. They're representing wealthy, special interests. Mm -hmm. um, and, and another uh, finding that I thought was interesting came about corporations. You asked, uh, do large corporations have too much say? And you asked, do unions have too much say? And of course, unions have been at the center of a lot of uh, conflict uh, in the re last year with, with what happened in Wisconsin and New Jersey and other states. What were the findings on, on labor unions and on corporations? Americans across the board feel that large corporations have too much influence on American life and politics. Seventy-five percent said that in the poll. But compared to labor unions, 36 percent thought that, so significantly less. So only 36 percent thought labor unions had too much say, but 75 percent thought corporations. Let's, let me ask you about, you know, where is this coming from? Is this Republicans, Democrats, independents? I mean, what are people saying? Because you would think, okay, maybe Republicans would have more of a problem with labor unions and Democrats would more have more of a problem with corporations. Well, Republicans, Democrats, and independents all say that large corporations have too much influence. But when it comes to unions, most Republicans think that they do have too much influence, but Democrats and independents disagree with that. It's really striking to me that, that this alienation is so across the board. I mean, not just on this question, right? Sure. Um, one of the things that you asked was, um, who does, who does the government serve? Uh, right. Do they serve the rich, do they serve the middle class, or do they serve the poor? And, and what were the findings and, and how did different sort of groups respond to them? We asked Americans who they think benefits most from the federal government's policies, and 66% said they think the rich benefits most. So two out of three said the federal mm -hmm. government basically works on behalf, for the most part, of the rich. Yeah, okay. compared to only 4% who think they benefit the middle class. Oh, wow. And as Democrats are especially likely to think that the policies of the federal government benefit the rich. Over 8 in 10 Democrats said that. While fewer, but still 44% of Republicans think that the rich also is the biggest beneficiary of the federal government's policies. And that's interesting because I think there's a perception that Republicans sort of think that the federal government isn't necessarily doing enough for the rich, but really a lot of Republicans don't feel that way. True. Um, another sort of striking thing for me on this was that there's a sense that, you know, the Obama administration uh, has opened the door and there's been more transparency and we're the age of the internet where people have more access to documents and yet people feel more alienated uh, than ever, which is, which is really striking. Yeah. Anyway, thank you so much, Jennifer DePinto uh, from CBS News. I'm Brian Montopoli, CBSNews.com senior political reporter, and thanks for being with us.